He's probably the most NBA-ready guard I've had. He really already looked like a two or three-year NBA guy when he first got here. Basketball is like my life. It's kind of the thing I always wanted to do. I love getting better each day. I want to be up there with guys like Donovan and Damian Lillard. He's an elite defender, and that's why he's going to go so high in the draft. He's the best defensive guard I've ever had, and I've had some good ones. Davion Mitchell here. I play point guard at the University of Baylor, and I'm here training for the NBA draft. How I got into basketball was um, my uncles, the youngest uncle after me named Deron. He kind of showed me the game. He was really good. He taught me a lot of things. They played a big part of my life. I played for a local team, South Georgia Kings and the Coastal Crew Rebels. That's where I kind of started playing like, travel basketball. And then I went to a bigger circuit, the Nike circuit, the Georgia Stars. And that's where my name just got out there. And that's when I first got my first college offer, playing in a uh, Peach Jam actually. Baylor was amazing. It was an amazing atmosphere, the coaches. I mean, it was just like a big family there. They taught me a lot of things, like off the court, more to be a man than just a basketball player. I mean, they wanted to be good at basketball, but their main thing was to build relationships, and the relationships was the most important thing to them. And that's what I love about Baylor. It wasn't all about just basketball. I feel like I can do everything on the floor. I can pass, defend, score, just being a good teammate. I mean, I'm not selfish. I love getting my teammates involved, getting them open shots. To be as complete offensively as he is, but then be that good defensively, I think he's really unique in that regard. What makes Davion Mitchell stand out is his speed, his burst, his first step. You don't see it that often, even in the NBA, how fast he is getting by people. You know, he's not a big kid, so his speed is something that he uses to his advantage. He's already a pro. He knows what he's doing. You know, this facility that we're in, there's so much stuff that they can use. He uses all of it. He's not in a rush to get out of here. He's the first one here every morning. With him, it's just been about the reps and getting him ready for summer league. Monday, Tuesday is kind of like our days where we go really hard, do a lot of conditioning. We kind of slow it down and just shooting on Wednesdays. Thursday and Friday is kind of like a hard day and then Saturday is kind of like our only live day. It's difficult, but I'm um, kind of getting used to it. Now the hard part is just staying healthy. To be a professional is really hard. You got to make sure you're eating right every day. You see all your friends be able to eat candy and chips and you know how good it is, but you can't even eat it because it can hurt you in the long run. He's so mature and so dedicated and so about the right things. One thing that I always look for, for all our guys every year, is how, how do they interact with the other people? How are you treating the guys that are rebounding down there? How are you treating the people in the cafe? And he's been off the charts with that. Nice to everybody, remembers everyone's name. That stuff, it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but it's a big deal. Coach Don is amazing. He knows his stuff. I mean, I love working out with him. He's a guy that tells me if I'm doing something wrong, he tells me he's not gonna sugarcoat anything. He was coming in here and like getting shots up before he was supposed to do his stuff in the weight room, and then he was doing our workout, and then he was trying to do too much. Rest is really important. And so I think that's one thing that Davion's learned being here, is like, you can't just go all out all the time. As hard as I go every day, like, there's no way I can be able to play 82 games if I was in the NBA. So you kind of got to take some time off for your body so you can just stay healthy throughout this whole season because it's a marathon, not a sprint. I stay motivated, man, just by seeing my family work every day. I just want to be able to change their lives so they can just feel free and not have to worry about paying the bills. Like, I just want to just be able to support them in that way. What advice I would give a 12-year-old is don't pay attention to the media. They don't know what you've been through. All they see is you having a good game or a bad game. I'm not going on Twitter because their comments don't mean anything. It's not helping me, it's not hurting me. At the end of the day, if you're working hard, your work is gonna show for itself. Other than that, listen to your coaches. Those guys know what they're talking about and just be respectful and be a good person. No matter who I'm talking to, no matter how big I am, I'm just trying to be a good person to everyone. I can't tell the future. I don't wanna say like in five years I'm gonna have a championship. I'm just kinda of just say like day by day, just to make the best of each day. No matter how good I did, it's not feeling like, oh, I made it already. I was a good college player and now it's time to do bigger and better things. So now I just gotta leave that behind and just get ready for the next level.